The Track Changes feature will keep track of changes anybody makes to this document in color. But before I show you how to turn it on, it's a good idea to set up your username as we went over in earlier training videos. Because when you make a change with Track Changes, it will stamp your username to that change. And that's very helpful if you're collaborating with a bunch of people on the same document and they all make changes to it. Then you'll be able to see exactly who made what changes and when. So first of all, username. Let's come up here and click on the File tab. Go down to Options. General is selected by default, so just come down below to personalize your copy of Microsoft Office. And hey, there I am. Cool. And also your initials. And you can type in whatever you like, but now you know that when I make changes to the document, it's going to be me. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. And to turn on the track changes, it's as simple as coming up here, clicking on the Review tab, going to the Tracking Group, and there you go. You can either click on the Track Changes button or click on the drop-down arrow. And the first option, well, that's the same image as the button, so either or. Let me go ahead and click on it here, and it's turned on. How do you know? Well, the button is highlighted. That's one way. Or the other way to find out is that when you start typing in some text, it's going to highlight it, keep track of it in the color blue with an underline to it. And if I make any deletions, like let's go ahead and select Heaves, hit the Delete key, it puts it in red with the strike through through it. And so after you make a bunch of changes, if you want to be able to hide all the markups within the document and just go with your changes, well, you can do it one of a couple of ways. Over to the far right, you get these lines on the same line that has the change. So that way, when you hover over it and it says Hide Track Changes, when you click on it, it goes from gray to red. So when you're reading through the document, you're like, hey, I don't recall this being here. What's going on? Just quickly glance over to your right and go, oh, there's a red line on this line, meaning that something's changed on this line. So if you want to go ahead and click on it, it shows it and reveals not only the changes on that line, but all the other lines as well. And so if there's a lot of deletions, it's probably best to go ahead and hide it when you're going through the document, because when you reveal it, it takes up a lot of lines. And so you can hide and easily navigate through your document. And when you get to the line that has the changes you want to keep track of, then go ahead and expose it. Now you can do it that way, or you can come up here on the Review tab in the Tracking Group. And you can see when I hover on All Markup, it says choose how you'd like to see changes in this document. Right now it's showing All. When I click on the lines here, it goes to Simple. So, you know, All or Simple or Hide the Changes but reveal the simple markup that says, hey, this red line over here on that line means a change has been made on that line. You can also choose to say no markup. When you do that, it gets rid of the simple markup, and it goes with the changes that I made. Instead of chest heaves, it's now chest explodes, and of course it's got my start typing in some text here. So let's go ahead and change this to how about the original? Because if you don't remember what it was like originally and you want to see what it was, go ahead and select that. And it goes back from, well, explodes to heaves and there's not some extra text that was typed there. Cool. Let's go ahead and change that and go back to all markup. And if you don't like the colors of the markup or the strike throughs or the underlines, let's go ahead and see what options we get by clicking on the expandable dialog box button for the tracking group. Click on it, that little arrow, and look at that. You can go ahead and choose whether or not you want to see insertions and deletions as opposed to anything else when it comes to viewing your track changes. But let's go to Advanced Options, and there you go. The insertions will be underlined and in the color bleh. If you don't like that, click on the drop-down arrow and say you don't want anything, or maybe you just want color only or in bold. And then, well, choose your color. You can also choose by author which means Word will assign a color to each author, but I don't want to be assigned a color. I want to go with blue. And then deletions, well, you can do the same thing. You can change it from strike through or the color red. And then the changed lines, right now, it's on the outside borders, and we're in print layout view and not reading view. And so in print layout view, everything's over to the right-hand side. In reading view, it would be on the right-hand side and the left or the outside borders. So when you click on the drop down arrow, you can say you just want it on the left border. So it will change it from the right to the left, but you know what? I'm going to go with outside border. I'm cool with that. 
And then comments, you know, you can do it by author when it comes to inserting comments, which we'll do in just a minute. As you can see, it's right there. And then when you move things around, you can track those moves from one color to the next and also track formatting. So when you change it from bold to italics or you clear out the formatting, in any case, let's keep it simple. Click cancel, click cancel. And let's do those comments because when it comes to making changes, I don't know about you, but I'd like to know why. Why are you making these changes? So you can go ahead if you want to explain why you deleted the word heaves. You can leave a comment for that word one of many ways. You can either click adjacent to the word because when you insert the comment, it's going to select whatever's next to the flashing cursor to insert the comment or to tie the comment to. So if you come up here on the review tab to the comments group and click on new comment, there you go. It selects the word here that the cursor was flashing next to and puts a line out into, well, past the margin here with my name and the time a few seconds ago, hardly, more like a less than a half a second in any case. You can do it that way or, well, you can hit undo to get rid of it, but let me redo it to add it back. You can delete it here or right click on the comment itself and in the shortcut menu delete it there to get rid of your comments. So like I said, you can go ahead and do it that way when it comes to inserting comments or just right click on the word and in the shortcut menu, we can also insert a comment that way. Click on it and there you go. So let's go ahead and type in why I deleted heaves. I think the word explode sounds more desperate than heaves and a happy face because, you know, nobody wants to see their document all marked up, so you got to keep them happy with a happy face. In any case, when you're done with your comment, go ahead and click off of it, and it's going to show that as part of the markups. And so when it comes to working with your document, you know, you can scroll back so you don't have to see that part when you're working on the main part and if you do want to see it instead of scrolling back and forth or you don't well you get the zoom options you can go ahead and click and zoom in so you don't see that part the comments or you can go ahead and click and zoom out but if you zoom in and you want to see the comment you don't have to click and drag over to read it you can just simply go ahead and hover over it and you get the pop-up as you can see there i think explode sounds more desperate than heaves and what's nice about hiding the markups, as we learned just a few minutes ago, that when I click on it, well, it gets rid of the comment, it hides it, goes to simple markup, so that way I can go back to, let me click on the view tab, to page width, and not have to focus on the comments over to the far right as I go through the rest of the document. Let's go back to review. Okay, let's go ahead and go from simple markup to all markup. Let me click on this so we can see our comment over to the far right and scroll over. And you can see within here, wow, that was seven minutes ago. You see the breaks I take? They're very long. You can go ahead and click reply, or if this was somebody else's name, it's the same thing, but I'm replying to myself, and that's okay. And I can type in some more text, and if I'm like, you know what, that's good. I want to resolve it, come over here and click on it, and it seals it. And if you want to go ahead and reopen the case, well, go ahead and click on reopen. You don't even have to click on reopen. You can go ahead and click on reply, and it continues down below. And then click off, and then you can see that it resolved that thread, but from this point forward, well, we got a problem. So if you want to go ahead and click in here and reply and reply, it's a new thread, but if you want to reopen the one above, let's go ahead and click on reopen. It reopens everything. So let's go ahead and resolve it and leave it as is from that point forward. And let's slide back here. And just as easily as we came up here to turn the track changes on, anybody can come up here and deselect it to turn it off. So if they do that and they come in here and they start typing in, you see how it's not keeping track of anything? Let me go ahead and hit undo. I don't want that there. That you may want to go about this another way. You may want to go ahead and lock down somebody from turning off the track changes feature. And you can do that one of a couple of ways. You can either come back up here to the tracking group and click on the track changes drop down arrow and lock it. So you can see in the pop up you have to use a password to be able to turn off track changes. Click on it and it says prevent other authors from turning this off. Type in a password. It says it's optional. And what it means by that is that if I leave it empty and I click okie dokie and somebody wants to turn off track changes, and they come up here and they try to deselect it, they can't do it. 
they have to actually go out of their way so it's not really a mistake if you know they're just clicking up here happily they have to click on the drop down arrow to deselect it so now it goes from something that we couldn't click on to turn off to you know now we can go ahead and click on it to deselect it to turn it off but if you don't want even that because you want to make sure that they don't even get that chance to go out of their way to go ahead and turn it off well click on it go down to lock type in a pass for password well you type in whatever works for you then type it in again to confirm it and it says it's not a security feature well it may not be as secure as we think but at least this way they can't turn it off without the password and go ahead and click okie dokie then when they come up here oh, we can't turn it off when they click on the drop down arrow and they try to deselect it so they can turn it off okay it requires a password PASS hit enter cool then they can come up here and turn it off well, let's go ahead and instead of doing it that way come over here on the review tab to the protect to restrict editing you can click on that to do it that way opens up the task pane and so what we're looking at here is step two you want to make sure it says track changes click on the drop down arrow you get other options but for this example we want to be able to turn on track changes and we want to enforce it the protection that is so click on yes and we can type in a password or not but we want to make sure it's secure so type in PASS hit the tab key confirm it type in the same password hit enter and now it's on so when we close out of here and we're like doing nefarious things going hey I want to turn this off and somebody's in here going oh I don't want them to keep track of what I'm doing in here so they come up here and they try to click on it they can't do it they click on the drop down arrow to lock tracking well you can type in the password there or click cancel you can come over here click on protect to restrict editing and come down below and click on stop protection in which case you still need the password hit enter cool now it's no longer enforced and in fact the track changes is no longer highlighted so any changes you make well it won't keep track of it now in the next training video you can go through the document and accept or reject changes that way making it more permanent instead of just let me close out of here coming over here into the margin area and hiding them and revealing them you can actually say look I really want to go with the changes I don't want to hide them or reveal them anymore I want to get rid of the markups I want to go with what everybody else says or there's certain things I don't want to go with in any case it's up here in the changes group to accept or reject and that's the next training video thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video